July 3, 1778. 300 patriots under Colonel Zebulon Butler were defeated by 1,100 British Tories and Indians with Major John Butler. Captives were massacred. Survivors fled to nearby 40 Fort. This has been called the surpassing horror of the American Revolution because of the brutal and horrific acts committed by Iroquois Confederation warriors and their British and Loyalist allies against the Connecticut Yankees who had settled Pennsylvania's Wyoming Valley. Near this spot in Wyoming, Pennsylvania, fought on the afternoon of July 3, 1778, the Battle of Wyoming, in which a small band of patriotic Americans, chiefly the undisciplined, the youthful, and the age spared by inefficiency from the distant ranks of the Republic, led by Colonel Zebulon Butler and Colonel Nathan Dennison, with a courage that deserved success, fearlessly met and bravely fought a combined British Tory and Indian force of thrice their number. Numerical superiority alone gave success to the invader and widespread havoc. Desolation and ruin marked his savage and bloody footsteps through the valley. This monument, commemorative of the events and in memory of the actors in them, has been erected over the bones of the slain by their descendants and others who gratefully appreciated the services and sacrifices of their patriot ancestors. The massacre became an important propaganda tool for the Patriot cause, forcing General George Washington to appoint Major General John Sullivan to lead a huge and carefully planned campaign against the Iroquois on the Pennsylvania and New York frontier in the autumn of 1779. If you're passing through northeastern Pennsylvania, you will find this historic monument located at the corner of Wyoming Avenue and Susquehanna Avenue in Wyoming, Pennsylvania. This has been Christian Pepys reporting for The Vinnie Langdon Show.